Wow. Baby. Looks gorgeous. Stunning. Are we celebrating something I didn't know about? Hey, you know. It's our anniversary. Oh my God. <laughs> I totally forgot. I know. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. It's fine. Just may understand the work has been very hectic oh. for you. It's fine. God, I have the most understanding, the sweetest wife on planet Earth. All right. Come here. Ooh. Reverse them first. Oh. Okay. There you go. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. A toast first. A toast. To us. To us. To long life, prosperity. More love, more, more. It's just the children in our marriage. From waiting for the best, okay? To give him joy, thankfulness to God. I'm grateful to God. Trust me. I'm so grateful to God for the kind of husband he has given me. Your patience, your love. I'm really, really grateful to God. I just wish things were better. I just wish I... Come on. Children will surely come. Look, the doctors gave us a clean bill of health. No issues, no issues. I know. But it's been... It is. I should be. We should have a child. We, we should have children running around us all now. Sweetheart, look. I just don't want you to be worrying too much about it. I love you. God knows I love you so much. I love you too. I love you. I want to make you a happy man. I want to give you everything you need. I just want to give you a child, even if it's one, just one. I want to give you a child. Look, um, let's enjoy this beautiful meal that you've prepared. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go for a nice romantic walk. It's been a long time since I had a lovely walk with my beautiful little six one. Mm -hmm. Come here. I do love this man so much. Mm -hmm. Hey, what did me that one? Who the next girl? Hey, says what did the next one get? Remember, who is there? Oh, invader. I go tell you, say this girl, not before I've had them do, I'm not, not, not yummy. You think, say, you can just come and knock someone get anyhow? Who is that person? Huh? Have you seen this kind of get? I will bust up. What? Why? Mama? Yeah, me, Mama, I don't know it was you. No! You should have used that stick on my head. Uh, am I crazy? No, I use it to hit me. So, sorry, Mama, welcome. Mm -hmm. Common sense you don't even have in your head. You cannot get to the door and verify who is there. You are there shouting. Animal. Ordinary gate man like you. Mama, it's, not what, it's not what you think. Will you shut up your mouth? M Mama. What thing happened now? What are you looking for? Did you hear any sound now? Sound? I know hear sound though. I know hear anything. I said it. I thought my ears was deceiving me. But now I can see that my ears are intact. I mean, Mama Novis, if I may ask, what sound were you expecting? The sound of a baby crying. Either the baby is asking for the mother's breast or is sucking the mother's breast. But no, such a sound can never happen in this house. Not when my son is married to that he goat who is still living in this house. Where is she? Where is she? 
Look, Mama, she, 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 she followed her car, Oh, They went out. She went out? Beautiful. No problem. They will come and meet me in this house. My son cannot have a big house like this without children to, bob, to bubble in it and make it look lively. Never! They will come and meet me here. Never! They will definitely come and meet you. Here. But the one you just they shout for me, like say Nami won't deliver the picking for your, your son. I'm not a girl, not an amaphrodite. Oh, oh, this man. Okay, wait. Wait. Don't you think you should wait a little bit for us to get set? No, no, no. Look, I want to show you something. <laughs> 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 Footballer. Mm. Maybe well, welcome. Uh, ah. Ah. Mama. Mama, what are you doing here? Good evening. When did you come? Mama, welcome. What, what are you doing here? Uh, hey, hey. hey, Rose. Is there anything you want to tell me? Um, anything like what? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> This girl, you think I have come here to joke? Abby? You thought I came with plenty jokes? It's okay. Okay. Mama, I, I, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were coming, you know. I would have prepared something for you, but right now I'm making something for you. It will be ready shortly. You're welcome. I am taking my son away. What did you just say, man? First thing tomorrow morning, we are leaving this house. Really? Uh, where to? Uh, not to worry. I'll take care of that. The bottom line is that I am taking you far away from this woman you call your wife. Mama, why do you want to take my husband away from me? Because I have to take him far away from you to where they are going to examine his head properly. For them to wash away the juju that you have left upon my son. Mama, um, hey, hey, hey. I'm not yet done. I know that he has left you with juju. The juju has made you so blind that you have refused to see that for eight years she has refused to give you a child. And yet you say you play football. What is the essence of playing football when no goal is scored? I am taking you away from this house first thing tomorrow morning. Mama, I'm, I'm sorry. You cannot come into my house and start giving me orders or telling me what to do. I'm sorry. And I'm not going to sit down and, and, and listen to you talk this rubbish. <laughs> yeah. So, my son can still talk like a man. Like this, eh? And that means that the juju she gave to you is not so strong. Anyway, not to worry. My prophet is going to wash the remaining away from your head. Mama, I don't care what your prophet is washing or what your prophet is not washing, okay? 
I've told you time and time again, the doctors have given us a clean a bill of health. Children will surely come. You can be talking to yourself. That does not concern me at all. All I know is that make sure that you wake up as early as 9 a.m. Because no Jupiter can stop me from moving you away from this house. rice for you please manage it i promise that by tomorrow i'm going to make something very nice for you it's been eight years Ruth. eight years of barrenness what do you want me to do for you to leave my son alone Mama, I love my husband so much, Mama. I would do anything to make him happy. I would do anything to give him a child. You still haven't answered my question. What exactly do you want me to do for you to leave my son alone? I love him so much. I would rather die than leave him. Are you sure? That is the answer you want to give to me. I want you to think deeply before giving me an answer now. Is that your final answer? Look, Mama, I love my husband so much and only death can take me away from him. That's the truth. Good. Hmm. Then, be prepared to die. Excuse me? Yes. You heard me right. If death is the only answer for you to leave my son alone and remove him from the witchcraft you have forced on him, ah, then Another thing is, uh, hmm. think size of your coffin. What's the matter, baby? She didn't like the chicken. Oh, I mean, if she prefers fish, we can still go and get her fish to prepare, right? Come on, baby. What's the matter, eh? Talk to me. What did she do to you? Your mother told me that I will have to die if that is what it will take to leave you alone. What? My mother said that? Yes, she saw that. That is what she just told me. No. <laughs> what? I'm not going to take that from her. No way.
Mama, Mama, open this door. Open this door now before I break it down. Mama, Mama, where, where is my wife? Where is my wife? What have you done with my wife? Your wife? Yes. I don't know what you are talking about. Where have you kept my life? Will you shut up your mouth? Why are you shouting at me at this very early morning? I said I don't know where your wife is. What is it? You told her last night that she will die in order for you to separate us. Mama, I swear to you, I promise you with everything in me that if you should do anything harmful to my wife, I will surprise you on this earth. That is a promise. She has gotten the message and decided to finally take herself out of this house. What a good girl. <laughs> what is this now? Hey, Rose, what is this? Should I told you to stop sitting down like this and worrying? What is this? Who do you want to who, who do you want to kill? Eh? Who do you want to kill? Please take it easy. I'm not here. I'm not here. What, what essence? Essence of what? Of what essence is when uh, as a woman, when I can only hear a child. I'm not even talking about children. One, just one child for my husband. What is the essence of calling myself a woman? But you've been talking about this issue since you got here 5 a.m. this morning. Eh? Don't you think we should be talking about your mother-in-law? How to handle that one? Yes, a woman who is bent on destroying my life, who has told me that I am going to die if I don't leave her son. That's a threat now. We should report to the police right away. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I should report to my mother in law to the police. I'll go to the police station and tell them that eh, I've come to report the case. What are you reporting, madam? I'll tell them. Eh. Hey, my mother-in-law said I'm going to die if I don't give her a son no, a child. What do you want them to call me? Barry. They will not write on their statement, but the Barry woman, they should just drop it on my face. Is that what you want? Oh. Okay, so what's your husband saying about all this? That is the problem. That is the problem. I don't understand that part anymore. How can somebody love a woman so much that you cannot say anything? You cannot even do anything. This man does not complain. He does not say anything. He asks like, okay, it's fine. He's God that gives children. He's God that gives, he gives at his own time. What kind of, I don't understand. Okay, you have said it all now. Your husband is not complaining. He has said it's God that gives children. He gives at his own time. So wait for God now, at his own time. He will give you. God. Yes. What is God waiting for? My shame. My reproach. My disgrace. Is that what he's waiting for before he gives me a child? He wants people to just laugh at me before he gives me a child. Please, please. Ayana, maybe you want to fight God. You want to start complaining. Let's see what will come out of it. I need to give my husband a child. I need to give that man a child. My husband is a very good man. He does not deserve this. I know he's going through a lot. He is private like I, 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 he's pretending. So that I don't feel bad. He's such a good man. And he's not even give even God should just help me give him one. Am I asking for too much? Am I not worthy of having a child? What did I do? Eh? What did I do? What wrong did I do? I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I don't know. Hey. Emmanuel, my son, I have just finished preparing your favorite snack, Okpa. It is not the type that you find everywhere. This one I prepared especially for you the way you like it. Eh? Go inside and eat. Oh? Emmanuel, what did you just do now? I said, what did you just do now? Eh? You listen to me. And you listen to God. I am not going to be one of those sons whose mothers take control of their lives and treat them like babies. 
You cannot come to my house and chase my wife away and then expect us to live together, Mama. Never! How dare you talk to me like that? You mad what? Eh? Mama, listen. Go to your house. I'm a married man now. I cannot marry you. Go to your house. I will not go anywhere. Get that clear. Do you hear me? I'm going nowhere. Not until you drive that one woman out of this house. I'm bringing another woman who will come and give me grandchildren. Do you hear me? Mama, if you call my wife Bar one more time, you lose me as a son. That is the promise. I, 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 Manuel, I, I am not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. How can I stand and watch another woman destroy my only son? Eh? Mama, leave me alone with my wife. Mama, leave me alone. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Tell me to send my wife packing. It is not going to happen. Where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been so worried? How can you leave this house without telling me? Brother, how you please? You should take your wife inside. Come on. Son, I am not afraid of you. Okay. I 
want you execution that, 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 that word in a house and you have chosen to ignore me. You have lost yourself a son. What's wrong? You look stressed. I'm really sorry look, about. We're leaving this house right now. What? Why? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. I I want to take you out on a date, a proper eight-year wedding anniversary date with my baby. What happened? What did Mama do this time? Maybe let's just go to a hotel so we can both cool off. The tension in this house is it's just too heavy for me right now to, to stay here. Please. Salary in book, he just come un un unexpected. So, oh, oh, madam, um, so, <coughs> madam, now don't have an... Mama, I want to travel to Ville in book. My family, my wife, 
and my children. I need to see them for how long. My son paid you three months salary. And you say you are living. Oh. This is how you people siphon my son's hard earned money. Is that not so? My man, but I don't know this what you talk about. I know siphon anything. I'm not a siphoner. Who is? All I know is that okay, madam, don't travel. And since the Nori in book, I can know what who do I work for? I got to travel, go with my wife and my youth, you know. Okay, so who will look after this house now? If not for that one. But that one no be problem at all. There is no, no problem. Mama, you know my chamber where they for back. You know where the chamber they whenever you want to open gate, I take God beg you people, bad boys for this area. Before you open the gate, make sure say them press the bell like three times. You should they be observant. And that you just said mama. So you have to watch what you do. So uh, um um even um the grasses, not grasses, the flower, the shears to cut the grass. Everything day back here. So whenever I want to cut the grass, go back there. And they cut the grass every time. But, but for the three months where I go come out, I beg. Make sure say the company they clean. Even my chamber. Make sure say they mob and mob and from. How will you shut up your mouth, eh? I'm not finish, yo. Stupid, foolish man. You want to turn me into a gate man in this house? Three more salary and you say you want to leave. Ma Come leave. Mambo, I never had to finish now. Come make her go tell you things where you go. You know, go go to say you. Okay, come back. Mama. I am leaving. You will not turn me into a gate man in my own son's house. Tell Emmanuel that no matter where he has run to, he can never escape me. I am coming back to this house. And I am coming back with full force. Do you hear me? Stupid. Mama, but me, I want to travel. Mama, I want to, my people just... You this boy, you this bumbo, you are you yaros. See the kind like you just lambo. This is your mom, you are lying. I just tell mama, mama just believe carry back. Mama, I think that now me get this mansion from now and so in fact. I want to be the inland and in. Good job, good job, good job, good job. How are you doing? I can see you're still here all the morning. You need some coffee. I can eat it all so you want. Or what do you think? We think you should get lost. Hey, this is a public place. It's mine. So go get yours. Really? Sure. I'm so sorry to disappoint you, my darling, but he's my husband. So you need to get lost before I call the cops on you. I really do not know why they allow this kind of skanky girls hang around this place. Sorry for lashing out on you last night. I'm sorry too. Are you feeling better now? How can I be better when you're not beside me? I'm here always. Never far away from you. Mm 
I know. But I love you so much, right? I love you too. Don't worry, I know things are going to be fine. Things are going to get better. Money, 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 listen to me. Everything is going to be fine. Trust me. When I say to you that we're going to be parents to lots of kids. Trust me. <laughs> I believe you. I know. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> I can't. I want you so badly, and I can't do it outside of you. <laughs> How can I say no to the most beautiful woman on planet Earth? <laughs> Let's go down. What about my baby? No. Oh, enough of that. Your house. You're going now. Oh. Baby, you're going now. I'll join you. 
Are you sure you're going to be okay? Come on, I'm going to be fine. Trust me, I'll be fine. I'm a big girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am. I'll See be you fine. Later. Love you, baby. Have a nice day, okay? All right. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. <laughs> ah, Mama, this is not enough. How many men did you sleep with before you met my son? What? what? How can you be asking me such question? I've been married to your son for eight good years. <laughs> your question is really insulting. I don't know why you should... I don't worry. I have already gotten the answer. You have slept with so many men that you don't even have count of them. They're so numerous you can't even remember any. So, Rose, you lived a life of a hollow before my son met you and brought you to his house for you to destroy him. Okay, the second question. How many animals have you slept with before you met my son? What? How can you ask me such How can you ah, shut up your mouth? I said, how many animals did you sleep with before you met my son? Because I'm old, you think I am a fool. I have heard stories about you. How you go to Abuja to meet these big men, to pay you money to sleep with their animals while you watch. You sleep with their dogs, their monkeys, their horses, their tolotolo, even snakes. Only you. Hey! People come and see. My son married a prostitute. Think you are going to? Ah! God, thank you for showing me the truth. God, thank you for clearing everything for me. Hey! Uh, 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 thank you, God. Uh, 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 thank you, God. <laughs> Animals upon animals. Rose, I mean, you've just been sitting down there worrying, worrying. You need to stop. Angela, my world is crumbling. My life is turning upside down. As it is right now. I really wish you can understand how I feel. But I understand. I mean, my parents are always on my neck about when I'm going to get married. They're always disturbing me. When are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? That's, I just feel like marriage is not for me, really. Like, I can't put up with most of what you guys are putting up in marriage. I can't. Well, as it is right now, I need help. And I need it as soon as possible. Before I lose my home. Lo lose your home? Eh. Ha -ha. How can you say that? You know you can never lose your home now. I mean, your husband loves you dearly. I know. He loves me dearly. But he's a man. And she's a woman. In as much as my husband loves me so much, I know that. But then, he loves his mother as well. So? So someday he's going to succumb to her, drifting him and taking his mind away from me. And, and then he'll just, he'll just make him turn his back against me. But you know that that can never happen. I mean, your husband is not like every other man. Though. Your husband is a special breed in men. A special breed? Yes. That needs children. He needs to prove to the world that he's able to bear fruit. But then, I'm incapable of bearing fruit. I'm incapable of giving him children. Rose, Rose, my life is going to be destroyed if I don't do anything. If I don't do it fast. Rose, me, I don't know what to say again. Eh? I don't know what to say now. 
you see why I say that I cannot put up with all this thing in marriage. Marriage is not for me. When I'm ready, I'll just look for one man that I like, get pregnant for him, and then that's it. I become a single mother. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You know what? I'll, I'll be back. Um, I have to go now. I'll be back. Now? Uh, so soon. Baby, what's going on? Did, did Mama do anything? What's the matter? No, I'm, I'm fine. Everything's all right. But we need to go somewhere right now. It's quite urgent. Where? Where? Where are we going? Don't worry yourself. You're wasting more time. We have to go. Uh, okay. Uh, just wait. I'll go and get my keys. No, you know what? I found a solution, a perfect solution to our problems. We are going to be happy. You know, let's just go to where our friends. I'll do. Okay. I'll go. Just, I'll be back. All right. I'm waiting for you. Rose, are you sure you're feeling okay? Well, I've never been happier all my life than this moment. Trust me, I'm very, very fine. Wait, 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 Rose. Like, I don't understand what you're saying, really. You're joking. I mean, sh she's joking, right? I am not joking. How can you say I'm joking? This is a very serious matter. You are my best friend. You are my husband. What is the joke about you having sex with my husband to give us a child? Stop it, Rose. Will you just stop it? What's the matter with you? How dare you suggest such nonsense? Angela, please, I'm very sorry about this embarrassment, but she's been under a lot of stress lately. And, and, and uh, it's, it's, you know, like a medical condition. And we'll have to see to it. I'm fine. I am doing perfectly fine. What is wrong with the both of you? Angela here is my best friend. I just need you to just help me get me out of this mess. Please, why are you refusing to help me? It's not like it's not possible. It's very, very possible. And you're refusing. Why? My love, why are you refusing to help me? Angela, why? Angela, why are you refusing I'm to help me? Very sorry about this whole embarrassment. And uh, we're going to have to leave now. You know what? It's fine. I think you really need to take us to the hospital. She really needs to see a doctor. Since she came to my house earlier this morning, all she has been complaining about is how your mom has been giving her pressures and pressures. Please, I think you should take her away from your mom. It's, it's all in hand, Angela. My son, you are back. I prepared a very sweet vegetable with plenty of stockfish in it, just the way you like it. Relax yourself. Let me go and dish yours for you. Okay? I'm coming. What are you trying to do to us, eh? Why are you trying to set fire, burn off this lovely relationship between us, eh? I'm not trying to burn anything, Emmanuel. Can't you see what is happening here? We can never be happy in this marriage without children. Says never. who? Says who? Says, Says everyone who? but you. What is wrong with you? How come you are not saying this? 
I thought of a very fantastic idea to help us resolve this childless state. But no, you rejected it. You refused. Fantastic idea. Are you sick in the head? Are you nuts? How could you take me to your friend's house and mess me up like that? Oh, is it because I'm keeping quiet about this whole stuff? Because I don't want to put you under any stress? Hey! No, no! No, no, get angry! Please, get angry and shout! Imano, please! Please, shout at me! I need you to get angry! Get angry at me! I am really sick and tired of you not acting like you're concerned about my childlessness! Get angry! Shout! Just say it out! Say it out! How long have we been married for? Eight good years! Eight years, Imano! Without a child! Not eight months! Eight years! So what? So what? People have been married double that number of years before God blessed them with the fruit of the womb. What is the matter with you, eh, Rose? Look, if, look, I'm fine, my love. I just want you to stand up and support me. Help me get through this childhood state of mine, I beg you. This whole thing is becoming so much for me. It's becoming too much for me to bear. It's, it's not your problem alone, madam. It's not your problem alone, madam. It's our problem. Our problem. You and me. It's my problem. I am the woman in this relationship. I am the one who is to carry the child. I am the one people laugh at. I am the one people mock. I am the one people oh, say. Oh, oh, you think you're the only one being mocked at because my mother is here? You know how many times my friends laugh at me because I don't have any children? You know how much it hurts when people ask me how are the kids and I smile and say they are fine when I don't even have any? Damn it! You are not the only one suffering here, Rose. It's not only you. Huh? While people are waiting to see your stomach bulge, they are laughing at me because they don't see it bulge and I am considered impotent. This is not your problem. This is our problem, Rose. Our problem. My son, Emmanuel, I did not come to fight you. I only brought an idea on how we are going to solve this issue of your childlessness without chasing your wife away. You have an idea that will help without chasing my wife away? Yes, I have an idea without chasing your wife away. I'm willing to entertain the idea as long as it doesn't include breaking up with my marriage. See, I don't hate your wife. It's just that I hate this about. Son, the bottom line is that I don't hate your wife. Eh? If you had given me one or two children, I would have been carrying her everywhere like an egg. Willing to entertain your idea as long as it doesn't mean breaking up my mind. Good, my son. <laughs> you see, let this secret be between you and I. Hmm? What I want you to do is that you go out there, look for a concubine. You will impregnate her. After delivery, I will take care of her and the baby. It's a wonderful idea. It's a genius. It's a, it's a work. Can you hear yourself? Does anything good ever come out of you people? Jesus! What have I said wrong again? Eh? Rose, I thought this idea of yours was something that came out of your mind in a hurry. Please don't tell me you are taking this in serious. I'm serious. You said that. You don't want to get married. You just need a man to get you pregnant so that you have babies for him. And so? So get pregnant for my husband. Rose, like, are you thinking? Don't you know all the issues that have come out from all these what issues? I feel like, what issues? You're my best friend. My husband, I trust him so much. What issues will come out? Okay, fine. What if me and your husband are having sex? Then feelings start flying. Feelings? Yes. Well, if feelings start flying, my husband is a very good one. You are a very good one. And I trust the both of you. So I'm sure if anything even happens at the end of the day, 
will not have issues with this. We will not have problems. Rose, I'm sorry, I cannot do this. Why are you behaving like this? Now, you know when you say these things, I feel very bad. You're my best friend, and then I, I ask you to do something, something that you know that you can do. But then you'll be telling me no. Is it right? It's not good now. Rose, wait, let me ask you. How long have you been friends? How long? Over 10 years. We were even friends before I even met my husband. What are you saying? If, if any woman needs to get pregnant for my husband, at least I know that I have a best friend. My closest friend, I don't have a problem with. So why are you not rejecting? Why are you refusing to do this for me? Why? Yes, I know I said I, I want kids out of wedlock. But not with you now. Not in this kind of situation. You're not my best friend now. I, that is why you should do it for me. What is the difference? No, 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 no. I can't do it. I can't, Rose. Okay. Happens to me. Just know that my blood is on your head. But Rose, now this is emotional blackmail. Now you can't be doing this to me now. Don't call my name. Yes? Who is that? Ah. Madam. Madam, welcome. Perfect, I am fine. Where's my husband? Oh, okay, I just left out, not very long. Okay. And my mother in law. Oh, Mama? Uh she did inside house. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, I take care. Angela has accepted to have a child for us. What? Yes. She accepted on the condition that no one in the world knows about it inside the three of us. I don't believe this. She was vehemently opposed to the idea when we first spoke about it. I know, but then I went to speak with her and then made her see reasons why she needed to help me do this whole thing. Look, I need the world to know that you are strong, you are able and capable to give me a child. I need to make you a happy man. And you, what about you? Oh, oh, when the baby comes, the baby will be mine. As far as the world is concerned. How, how does that solve anything? It changes everything, my love. It changes everything. Remember the doctor told us that we are both good to have a child. Yes. So when the baby comes right now, we'll just um, focus our energy on getting us our own child and then stay away from all the stress and all the tension. Well, I mean, I just, I don't know. I just, oh, uh-uh, uh-uh. We have to do this. Look, I'm tired of people looking at me all the time expecting to see a protruding stomach and expecting to see me have a child. The doctor already told us that we are fine, we are good to have a child. But, but then, if this child comes right now, we will save our energy and just wait for God's own time. Without any stress and hassle and tension, so, obviously. Please, my love, please. Please. Thank you. 
Control him with your spine. Mama! Hey! Don't mama me! Don't mama me! Give me a child. She has refused. Rose, do something that will make my son happy. Stop feeding fat on his money. Make him a happy man, Rose! Oh. Hey! No sense! Hmm. When can we get going with your plan with Angela? You gotta get this woman off my back. You know I'm going for some deliveries today. Oh, well, I don't intend to take much of your time. I, I just came to sit down now. Okay. I came to tell you that my husband has finally agreed to the plan to sleep with you to be as a child. But I don't get the last time I checked, he wasn't in support of me. I know, but then I spoke with him and he has seen reasons. He just wants to make me happy. He knows this is going to make me happy. And I'm sure you too, you want to make me happy. Rose, no, 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 no. I Angela, mean, stop. Don't now. give me something that will come and affect me in my future now. Angela, eh? stop. Angela, stop. Look, see, you know what, eh? Why don't you go and look for prostitutes or runs girl? Um, better still you adopt now instead of putting all this thing on me. I cannot ah. have a child. I don't, I don't understand. You heard me right? My womb cannot carry it now. I don't understand. My husband doesn't know about this. Years back, I... I had an abortion. That destroyed my womb. The doctor that did the abortion. He said it was a mistake, something. But then, uh, I don't know, he, he tried to preserve my eggs. I don't know something about. But the truth is, I cannot um, carry a baby in my womb. Wow, that's massive. I know. But you and your husband have been saying that you've gone for checkups and the doctor says that you're both healthy to have children. Well, I lied. In fact, I actually paid the doctors to lie. Yes. My husband doesn't know about this. Look, I need to give this man a child. Please. Even if it's one, help me. You're my friend. I don't know who else to talk to about this. No, it's fine. As long as you're here. Angela, thank you so much. Thank you for doing this for me. It means a lot to me. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, okay, I'll done. Leave you both. Um, wait, Rose. Um, there's something I want to discuss with you. What is it? If I'm going to do this, I just think we should make it a business deal. And for it to be a proper business, I need to get paid. Paid? You never mentioned anything about payment before now. How come it's coming no, up no, now? No, let, let her talk. What do you want, Angela? Five. Five million there. Angela. And that's too much now. Okay, so five million there or no deal. Take it or you leave it. Angela's right, boys. This is a business deal. It's the only way it's going to work. 
emotions out of it. So I'm <sighs> Okay, good. So I get 2.5 million there the moment I get pregnant. The remaining 2.5 million there after delivery. And I also get to choose the hospital to be delivering my baby. No. Anything stopping us? serious has happened. Something serious has happened to those two. For some days now, they have been acting like total strangers. I think I need to leave this house for a while. Let them sort out whatever it is on their minds first before I return. Whatever happens, I know I have reached my son's heart to make him sit up and get himself a child before it is too late. That could be the reason why they are quarreling. Yes, I will leave tomorrow morning. Madam, madam, welcome. I want to see your madam. I want to see my madam. Yeah. Just come with me. She's inside. Just come with me. Just call her for me. I'll wait here for her. Call her. You, you, 
Oh, don't worry. Angela. Hey, don't worry. Oh, come inside now. No, no, please, please. I'm, I'm not coming. I'm in a hurry. I came to give you my pregnancy test. I'm pregnant. Oh, wow. That's such a good news. That's wonderful. Great. Just tell your husband to pay my money into my account. He has my account details. Okay, no problem. Excuse me. And also tell him that I will come back to see him later so that we can discuss other details. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Angela. Yes. What's the matter? What do you mean? Why are you acting strange? You've been acting cold and distant since... Since I slept with your husband to get pregnant for you? Exactly. Please, just tell your husband to pay my money into my account. That's all I'm asking. Thank you. Do what you want it now. I hope you're happy. I needed to find out if I'm fatal or not. But I just confirmed that I'm the infertile one in this marriage. Wait, wait, wait. Are you going to work out on me? How do you mean? I just told you that I am infertile and you're not saying anything. What do you want me to say, Rose? You have just pronounced on yourself by yourself. So what do you want me to say? Oh. Fine. Now I know where I stand in all of this. And trust me, I'm going to do everything to make you happy. You know what, Rose? You can do whatever you want because quite frankly, I don't care anymore. I mean, I have shown you nothing but love throughout this whole affair. Child or no child. I have stoically believed in the words of the top doctors that we consulted who said that we were in a healthy state to have children with time but you cannot wait so you know what do whatever you want huh thank you thank you very much Who could that be? Oh, Rose, it's you. How can I help you? I mean, you're here by this time of the night. What's, what's going on? Is anything wrong? Like you're here. I mean, that's what you have to be here. Give up, fine or not. You know what, Rose? I'm, I'm tired. Like, I had a very long day, okay? So, and also I'm pregnant. So, I don't need I all the stress. I know. Congratulations on your pregnancy. Thank you. Congratulations. So, well, I came to tell you that um, I've left my husband for you. You can have him. All by yourself. There was never a time I said I wanted your ah, husband. So what do you mean? Hold it right there. I watched you. I observed you. All of a sudden you were acting so cold. So distant. I asked you several times if everything was alright. You ignored me. Fine. I trusted you. I thought you had my back. But you know what? Shit happens. And it's fine. I've left him. You both. Have fun. Rose. You're a fool. I mean, 
a very big fool. Thank you. I wish you a very good life. Thank you very much. Just press my pocket. Nonsense. I must stress my life. Why are you bringing me water from your chambers? Why didn't you get water from inside the house? I've been telling you so, can't okay, no day house now. Nobody day house. Well, this is very strange. It's not normal. This Today is Sunday. He doesn't go out on Sundays. Everything I tell you about today is Sunday. Nothing day normal for this house again. No. There is nothing that is normal. In fact, as a matter of fact, Okasemi okay, cannot allow you enter inside this house. I think something is wrong with your head. Why am I even sitting outside there and talking to you? Let me go. Madam, you know, go if you enter, I tell you, say, I get strict, I, I, I have a strict order to follow. But you want me to sack me for what? I tell God, make you, I respect you when you walk here, but now I know they walk here. I think you used to smoke Ibo. I don't smoke You, you have smoked Ibo, Abi. I, I used smoke. to say it, my husband thinks it's a lie. You smoke, if I, if I, I can't get out of my front, sorry. I know they smoke Ibo, now, break your head. And, uh, the, ma, ma, madam, I get out of my front. I don't know like that one now, I don't go like do gra gra with you. Get one. What is going on here? What is all this uh, fancy noise that you are making and you are disturbing me inside? Eh, uh -huh, madam? Who are you and what do you want here? Uh, 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 Who is this woman now that she wants here? Now, go away. Are you stupid? Are you... Oh, Mr. Claus, who is a job there? How can she be your girl's wife when... I am standing right here. Madam, I think I beg you know this. Before, before, now she be your girl wife before you come come. You're a big fool. I don't know. You're a very big fool. Anyway, look here, madam. If you don't leave my house right now, I will call the police to pick you up right away. Oh, mama. Good afternoon, ma. Rose, Rose. Good afternoon. The queen of Halots. What are you looking for here? I was told that you left here all by yourself because you couldn't give my son a child your womb is dead no. what are you looking for Take it easy. look eh, if you know what is good for you and you don't want to lose your job you'll get this filthy thing out of this compound right now hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. there is something i want to tell her rose what are you Anyway, this is my son's new wife. And as we are speaking right now, she is carrying my son's baby. Carrying my grandchild. <laughs> if you don't move from this compound now, I will arrest you, not only arresting you, I will curse you and your tenth generation. You hear me? I have given you the license. Go back to Abuja. All those dogs, all those snakes, the monkeys, the horses that you are sleeping with, with those big men that they pay you. Please go back there. Eh? Maybe you might be lucky. One of them will impregnate you. Eh? Get man. Now, 
throw her out of the house. Manene, Jaja, Jaja, get out. Oh yeah, come, yes sir. Away, 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 out. What? Don't. Maria, go away. No, they think I run my job. So it's you. You can come to my house. Are we? Do you remember what I told you the last time you came to my house? When you told me to marry your husband? No. You can't remember. Okay. I will remind you. I told you that you were fool. Right? Now I will prove to you why I said that. Just hold on. Because we're going somewhere. Let me get my back. Who is it? Hi, Angela. Angela, what is this woman doing here? I don't want to see this woman. What is she doing here, Angela? I don't want to talk with this woman. Get her out of here before I hurt her. I said, get. Carry your baby. I just want to say that um, I'm sorry for everything I've done. Sorry for being stupid. Sorry for working out on you. Working out on our marriage. I'm not yet to ask you to take me back as your wife, but I just want you to please forgive me. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. And expect Angela to, to forgive me. I know she's carrying your baby. And the other woman in the house that your mother said is pregnant for you as well. Please forgive me. Please. That woman in my house. It's not pregnant. I left house and I saw her that day when you moved out of the house. And I'm also not pregnant. What? I mean, that day you left us in the hotel room. Me and the mom sat down and thought about everything. We just knew that nothing good can come out of your plan. What have I done? I've been so stupid. I've been so foolish. What have I done? Will you ever forgive me? Let's just see. I can just go away. What about the baby in your womb now? What about your friendship with Angela? Do you think you'll ever get a friend like Angela? How pitiful she has been? Do you think you'll ever get someone like that? Do you still love me? I want you back to me. I've been so miserable without you. Never! What do you think you're doing with this woman? Mama, please, please. I want you to stop your shouting. Right now. Right now. Because today is the end of all your noise making, your trouble making, and your evil mongering. Yes, I want you to give joy, thankfulness to God, because a lovely and beautiful wife is now pregnant. Pregnant with my child. <laughs> Impossible! You pregnant! Impossible! Okay, you will tell me when you became a doctor to detect whether someone is pregnant or not, okay? Okay? And as for this woman, whom I don't know, that you brought into my house this thing to defile my marital home. In fact, the both of you, I don't want to see you here within the next hour. Yes, I don't want to see the sight of you. Come on down. I'm taking my pregnant wife back into our home. That's right, our home. Come on. Come on, carry your grandchild. See? 
She's carrying your grandchild, Mama. You should be full of joy, full of happiness. You missed an opportunity to be a part of our joy. You missed it, Mother. You missed it. Bring all this. Come and get all the uh, water and everything ready for my loving wife. You see what you have cost. You see what you have cost. You're not a good actress. Eh, so it's not my fault that your impotent son, eh, has brought in a what's that? It's a fake pregnancy from another man. Eh, please. Oh yeah, my balance thirty thousand naira. I don't want to ask you twice. My thirty thousand naira balance now, now. Oh yeah, eh, yes, please. I want to collect my money, please. <laughs> Hospital, hospital. Take me through this. 